Welcome back. Shop owners have been warned to abide by the law or face having their stores shut down. Johannesburg's MMC for Public Health and Social Development has been inspecting shops in Alexandra. This follows reports of expired products being sold in some shops. Our reporter, Slinda Lomasikane, is tracking that story for us. She was out and about earlier on, back in studio now. So, Sli, what did the MMC actually manage to find? Well, what we saw was the MMC going to these puzzle shops uh, around the Alex Mall. And uh, during that inspection, he found that actually in one of the stores, uh, the shop owner themselves was actually sleeping um, in that particular store, which is against the law. Uh, they also found uh, some uh, goods which were not just standard uh, goods that you'd find at a shop. For example, uh, this loaf of bread uh, that he found, which was extremely large, uh, the labeling on it was not your usual labeling. And of course, this is quite problematic, saying that, you know, um, sh shop owners really need to be cautious about the kind of products that they're selling to, uh, to consumers. But also, we've been seeing a lot of activity in Alexandra. Um, earlier this week, we saw Operation Dudula, um, a lot of issues around um, illegal uh, foreign nationals operating uh, within the township. We also saw several arrests uh, yesterday um, of illegal uh, foreign nationals. So I think this is just another clampdown or a reminder to the community that uh, uh, law enforcement as well as government officials are aware of what's taking, by, taking place in Alexandria and they're trying to do something about it. But let's just take a listen to what the MMC had to say. For example, this loaf of bread, it has expiry date on it. Bread cannot have an expiry date. It should be best before. So it clearly shows it's self-made and, and their own rules apply. And so we cannot continue to allow this. But I must say that, that uh, there's now intentionalism to ensure that this changes. You also have contraventions where uh, the, the person that is, that is running the business is sleeping right here close to the food. This yeah. is a health hazard uh, for, for our people. And so we've got to we got to really be decisive. So this is basically authorities, as you say, telling the community we're doing something because they were worried about this issue during the week mm. when it was the Alex Dedula movement, actually, yes, yes. that went out on the streets. But also, it wasn't just spaza shops that they looked at. Mm. It was big business as well. Yeah, that's, that's one, of, one of the questions I posed to him, to say, you know, there are concerns around these xenophobic undertones uh, to these operations where it seems that you're only targeting shops um, seemingly owned by foreign nationals. And he said that, uh, you know, that needs to be corrected. What's happening here uh, is to quote him as a patriotic um, act in terms of ensuring that his department is playing its part in ensuring that uh, shop owners um, are abiding by the law and he went into one of the big businesses as well in Alexandra, uh, ShopRite to be specific, where there they found cans which were dented uh, which shouldn't be on the shelves and they were, they were also um, warned and uh, you know they, 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 they were told that you know you need to ensure that you're also complying as big business. Let's take a listen once more. We are obviously treating everyone with the same kind of respect that we would treat uh, any human being. We must differentiate between being xenophobic and being patriotic. This is patriotism. This is to say that we must create an environment where everybody's welcome to contribute to the betterment of our society. And anybody that doesn't do that, we must exercise the law and ensure that in the ambit of the law, we protect the lives of everyone. So you'll be checking shops owned by South Africans as well, I'm assuming? hundred percent, because this is an environmental health issue. Whether you're South African or not, if you, if you do what they are doing here, it's wrong. It is absolutely wrong. And we are also visiting the bigger brands to say that are they compliant too? So we heard him say that they're warning these big stores and spaza shops, but are there fines? How do you actually stop these shops from selling goods that are out of date or dented cans, etc.? Yeah, so it, it works in different stages. You know, I think you can imagine when you get a traffic fine, you know, you first get a warning, then you get a fine. Similar in this situation. So if they find that you've got expired goods, that they can escalate that to have your shop completely uh, closed. But if they're finding, let's say, dented cans, uh, things that can be fixed, uh, then you, just depending on the severity mm. um, of, um, of your offense, 
that will determine whether you're warned, whether you get a fine, or whether you'll have your shop completely closed. But of course, just doing one of these is not going to help. Um, and the MMC is saying uh, for his department, one of the things that he's going to implement is that for inspectors, um, it's going to be part of their KPIs. So how often you're going out to these shops, how often you're doing these operations is going to form part of their performance. And he says that it needs to be at least a weekly thing. Mm. Yeah, well, hopefully they don't go and just do the job so they can get scored high and they can. Yeah, high. I also find that a little bit problematic, yeah. but you know, let's see how. Because then you this... end up harassing people. Exactly. Yeah. So let's see how this unfolds and whether it's going to make any difference. Yeah, all right. Thanks for the report. Appreciate it. Slindelo Masikane.